Good morning, YouTube, and uh, at least for Atlanta, I do mean that literally. It's the day after the Blade Show uh, closed yesterday, and uh, we're all here with, with sore feet and empty wallets and <laughs> just about everything you could expect. I have uh, Mr. Sugar Creek Forest, Jim Troyer here, and, and Mike over here, Gafco, and uh, I'm going to uh, be taking them up to the train here in a, in a little bit so they can get on back to their normal lives, but I thought we'd do a quick aftermath video. The show was phenomenal. Um, certainly for me it's been the best Blade show ever, and, and the reason was not only was the show, uh, and the last couple of years it's kind of been at half strength, and um, this year it was back with a vengeance. Uh, over 700 tables. Uh, we didn't. We wanted three days. I don't think any of us saw it all. Uh, just, just astounding. And uh, but the the real thing for me was all the YouTube friends that I got to meet. Uh, some of my subscribers came up and um, at the show and, and met me and told me they appreciated my videos and I really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, I started doing this just on a lark, thinking I wouldn't have any videos and any subscribers, rather. And so having them and and you know knowing that they appreciate what I try to do, I I really appreciate you guys too. Uh, when I get settled down from all this, um, I've missed a few. Uh, you know, people usually do like a 100 subscriber giveaway and a 200. I missed uh, quite a few, so. I think I'm going to have to do an update. I know that uh, there's some other subscriber giveaways in the offering, and I'm going to let somebody else tell you about that. There's some some special ones, at least one. But the uh, the camaraderie and all the people I got to meet really did it for me. And uh, here's a uh, a knife. Uh, I picked this up at the show. Unfortunately, I can't stay here. It's not mine. Um, this was a special order from Kylie Harris. Uh, this is a Lon Humphreys and just just gorgeous work. Lon Humphreys, uh, if you haven't checked his stuff out, you really should. He's very personable, very nice, and you know, just top notch finish. Everything is, is done as it should be done. He does make YouTube videos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very cool ones, actually. And so check him out on YouTube. He, he's, he's there. Um, we met these guys, we met Mindsmere, we met um, uh, GI Customs, we met um, um, John and his lovely wife, um, who is just, just the nicest people. And her, her name is Chelsea, not Ashley, for anyone who knows. Yeah. What would there, there was like, someone. Like, there was, did somebody <laughs> say Ashley? I, that's what I heard. I heard that somebody I I, I didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> I heard that somebody didn't know her name and kept uh, calling Joe, her. Joe yes. Flowers' wife is Ashley. <laughs> um, I, I didn't. I bought mostly supplies. I bought one kitchen knife of all things, which Tim and I had a ball with yesterday. <laughs> um, I will get. I, I will do a video on it, so I'm not going to dwell on it now. But um, it is just, as Tim will attest, I'll let him give you a short story, ridiculously short. Um, I was stunned when these two guys came in because uh, Mike over here brought me this. And uh, it, it has his own mosaic pins in it. Um, you know, two piece handle work and it, the blade, it is, it is a little cut. Nice, thin grind away. I like slicing knives. I don't like knives that have very thick, heavy grinds because I don't, you know, they have their place, but I don't use them. Uh, most everything that, that I work on, I cut, um, you, know, or, you know, cardboard tape, string, uh, rope, things like that. But I, I don't do a lot of heavy duty, uh, you know, bashing through things. I have knives for that. And, and <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't pry with a knife. I, uh, I learned my lesson on that. I had a William Henry and I pried with it and snapped the tip off. So. Oh! Still use it, it's just a little shorter. Um, but we, had, we just had a blast. Uh, we 
did a bunch of nice, these guys did a bunch of nice, my knees were not cooperating and I can't thank them enough. Um, I did what I could, but they did the lion's share of the work. Um, Kylie Harris out of New Zealand was kind enough to donate four of these. It's a little Boy Scout. Um, this is one in, uh, that's just in, uh, you know, has been the um, blades been finished and handles put on and sanded to shape and it's so it's not quite done but they got me a long way down the road they have, have made knives they have donated knives uh, all of these as they're finished we will be doing uh, videos on everyone will get a chance to bid on them and, and I hope that you folks will enjoy them um, and Tim came with this <laughs> Uh, I'd ask him for one of his really cool knives with um, maybe a Scandi look to it. And when he asked me what I liked, this was actually the knife I referred to. And I said, you know, I thought this was made for a customer long gone. And I, yeah, I said this, and he sent a, a package on ahead. And when I opened it, this was in it. And I thought, oh, wow, he's donating this to the auction. But he wasn't. He was donating it to me, and I really... <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, Larkin, here's uh, your little pen that Larkin left a couple with me. That's mine's mirror to uh, get the full polish treatment. I, and I'm sure this, this camera's too far away to really get detail, but it's coming along pretty nicely. This is about maybe 90% done. Um, guys, uh, and I, I think I'll start with uh, Mr. Tim here, uh, age before beauty, <laughs> and uh, what, Means that you know, what, what was your impression of the show? And well, I, I think the, you know, it's, I enjoy knife shows. I, I would enjoy going by myself to a knife show and just looking at knives and meeting makers, but to be with friends um, and be at a knife show, it's just over the top. It's ten times funner, and then... I was thinking about it this morning, and uh, I think the the thing that's interesting to me is um, I'd use the word congruency. In other words, you watch I watch my friends on YouTube and the others that I've met, and I kind of have an idea in my head of what they're like from watching their videos. And there were zero surprises that the people are as nice in person or nicer and more personable than they even come across in their videos. That that was a lot of fun. Um, so great. You know, great show. Uh, like Bruce said, um, I guess attendance. I, I haven't been for a couple of years, several years, but uh, great attendance, uh, especially Saturday. You, you, no, that, Saturday they, morning, you, you hardly. They were there. absolutely flooded. I, I live here, obviously, in Atlanta, and go, I've gone to every Blade show, and this was pretty much the way it's been in the old days. Uh, you can't find a parking spot. People are parking across the road to walk into the place, and this is a place that's designed to do this. Uh, we, we caught one of the few last spots on like the fifth level of the parking deck. I've never had to do that. Um, okay. you know, I see you brought a couple. Yeah, uh, I had a good time. I bought, well, I bought one little knife that uh... I actually packed away, so I, it, it's a little friction folder. Um, but the kind of the highlight for me, um, and again, I'll, I'll see if I can get a little closer to the camera. Um, you can see that it's wrapped in newspaper, and this uh, newspaper is actually from Japan. And the I'm not sure if I'll pronounce this right, but the Takefu uh, Special Steel Company was there and from Japan and really, really nice folks. And yeah, they are extremely nice people to deal with. Knife makers, if, um, you know, if you're looking for some of the stuff that Tim's gonna describe, these people just just went out yeah. of their way to help. Super gracious. Um, but I, I actually bought a couple pieces of steel from them. This is called DPS Gold. It's uh, multi-layer. It's 16 layers of uh, stainless steel. And um, the interesting thing is it's got a VG10 uh, core. So, it's, you know, stainless Damascus VG10 core, uh, which you can get, you know, truly razor sharp. And uh, I got a little thinner piece here for some smaller knives, and I got a thicker piece to make some razors out of. So, uh, make some straight razors, and, and um, I got a nice piece of, uh, nice piece of uh, carbon fiber here, 
and uh, so I'm going to make a carbon fiber straight razor, carbon fiber scales, and uh, stainless steel Damascus uh, blade. So, but like Bruce said, the highlight really was meeting the people, having having great great chili and and great hospitality from uh, Bruce and his very gracious wife Mary. Just just a wonderful time. So anyway, looking forward to next year already. Yeah, hoping we'll make this an annual event. How about you, Mike? What do you think? I had a great time. Definitely one of the best weekends of my life. I'm not even kidding. It's, you guys are amazing. Miss Mary is amazing. All the people that we met. I, I had fun. I, I really, no kidding aside, I talk more to people than actually walked around and did videos or <coughs> stuff. I, I must have seen on like half of the show. And I don't regret a single bit. It was just... Awesome. I see you've uh, come away with a couple treasures here of your yeah. own. Yeah, I, was, I, don't know, I wasn't planning on buying supplies because I know I can get them when I need them. So I, I wasn't planning on buying these, but a couple of them were like, I cannot not buy it because of how rare was it. And wanted to make, make me feel good because I do like big knives. But at the same time, Fred had a birthday, so I got him that wakazashi that uh, we had a little fun with. Although it's not meant for that, but still, we needed to test if it won't break. There's, uh, he did a video out behind our house here of, of working with this. These are, uh, th this company makes actual working tools and uh, they they guarantee them and they're, you know, spring tempered and Mike, Mike went at it and it, it seems to have worked just fine. And the That's other, uh, this, this is a really cool piece. This is this one I really had to buy the bullet, but it's something exactly my taste and uh, it's very rare I think. He made only eight of these, Bastinelli. I was surprised that not many people knew about him, but uh, in my book he's a famous knife maker, I know it's but I pretty much anybody that makes really cool stuff for me is famous knife maker. I think Tim is a famous knife maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I thought it was infamous. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I got that wrong. <laughs> and the final thing is, my friend bought a small version of this. We get together in the morning. He showed it to me. I was so envious. I just loved it. And I thought they were really expensive, like crazy expensive. They were. They were reasonable. So once I once he told me that he made only eight, and this was the last one. I was one. shocked when I found out how little you did pay for it. I think it's worth double what you get for it. I don't know. I really don't know how really famous he is. <laughs> Who knows? He's a great maker. I mean, the friction falls not no, really, I, are not expensive, but I, it's I think nice it's a, uh, a case of you know the knife just speaking for itself. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeremy uh, uh, was here with us. Yeah, he Jack McCullen J, mm -hmm. and he's just just a class act all the way. Mm -hmm. And he got a really nice friction folder and one yeah. that he likes. Mm -hmm. And um, he's done a video on it, so you guys can can look at that. And um, uh, Larkin picked up. He won the um, Rick Hinder one of Rick Hinder's auctions, and picked up probably one of the best little um, um, the little um, you know folders of Rick Hinder's I've ever seen, and. Um, uh, by the way, um, I guess, John, it's finally time for me to let you off the hook. Gotcha! <laughs> I didn't buy it. <laughs> we just decided, I decided, so you can blame me, I was going to have a little fun, so I had Larkin slip it to me and I just put it in my pocket. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you off the hook. I didn't, I, I didn't get it. Unfortunately, I would have loved to have had it. Um, I think that's... That's pretty much it. I'm hoping these guys, I've asked them to make it a yearly event. Um, I, I had as much fun as you can you can possibly have at this kind of show. And um, I, I really hope, you know, I'm sad to see them go, but, you know, obviously they have their own lives to get back to. So um, there's going to be a lot coming up on the charity auction. Uh, I contacted Children's Health Care of Atlanta and they're going to send me some videos, some promotional materials. You'll be seeing those online here at, uh, in the very near future. Um, like I say, Gavko, Mike, uh, Kylie, there was just a lot of people that kindly donated their time in Kylie's case with his wrist. 
uh, you know, for him to grind those out when, when he's not feeling good and in pain, uh, I mean, what, what more can you say? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's the, the, the guy's just a prince, and uh, I have some gifts that he gave me um, it was, that was included in the package that he shipped, and uh, you'll be seeing those in the near future also. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, we're going to eat breakfast here, and then i got to take them to the train station. Um, but for those of you that know, this, this does mean something, and, and, but only a few people know what. And <laughs> so until next time, YouTube, um, uh, I, I hope to get caught up with my videos now that the Blade Show's over with. And you take it easy, and I hope those of you that got to go uh, had a great time. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.